What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy GC and today I'm gonna be taking you through my new diet. And by new diet, I mean my calories and my macros. As you guys know, I've been bulking for a full year now. I'm two weeks in my cut, I'm down five pounds and the goal is to try and keep calories as high as possible, see how much weight I can lose from there, maybe start manipulating cardio a little bit. As of right now, we're not doing any cardio, just focusing on that deficit because as that number starts to drop, that's when it gets real. So I'm pretty hungry and I'm really excited to show you guys meal one. So you guys ready? Let's get to it, baby. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not sure why it took me so long to get an air fryer, but it has been the absolute best thing that I have done, making cooking easy and fast. I love it so much, I actually wanna make a video showing you recipes, whether you're bulking or cutting, as well as host a giveaway, so one of you can potentially win that exact air fryer on me. Let's go. Breakfast is ready to go. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different from what you guys might have seen on the channel before. If there's something I really enjoy doing is making the best out of my calories. So if you gave me 2,000 calories, you better believe that I'm going to get as much food as I possibly can to meet those 2,000 calories. No one likes to feel hungry, but when you're dieting at some point, you definitely will. So for meal number one, we have every man's dream, not one, but two, all right, I said betches, B-E-T-C-H. Now, bacon, egg, tomato, and cheese. Now, instead of using the C-H for cheese, I decided to use the H for honey. Don't knock it till you try it. It's like putting syrup on pancakes, but then the syrup gets on the eggs by accident, and it just tastes that damn good. So, I'm gonna put the calories and macros here. This is an absolute game changer. It's great for bulking, but like I said, even though I'm dieting, I'm gonna make the best out of it. So I'll give you a quick taste test. We got the tomatoes, the eggs, the cheese, the bacon, uh, the bagels. Mmm. Hey. This is a honey for me, I'm telling you. You gotta try it. Meal number two, we have some cinnamon toast crunch. Something quick and easy to get us going to the gym. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna try and ride the cereal wave for as long as I can. We're two meals in and I'm feeling pretty damn good. We got a push workout today, focusing on our chest, shoulders, and triceps, really spam those shoulders, which is something I've been focusing on during the off season. So I'm really looking forward to see as we get deeper into this cut, my shoulder development, how my medial delts and my rear delts have grown. Shout out to you, Gary, for really pushing me on those rear delts. So I'm gonna put the calories and macros up here, and then next up, we're gonna be at the gym. All right, so workout was great, and before I dive into that, because there's something I quickly want to talk about, I just want to jump in and let you guys know what meal three looks like. So we got a banana, we got a scoop of protein powder, some chicken and rice. All right, so macros, calories, I'll put that up here. Make sure you get your protein and carbs post-workout. But uh, once I park this car, we'll talk a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so we're back, we're home safe, we're at my boy's house. We got our chicken and rice right here, protein shake, and a banana went down pretty fast. But what I quickly wanted to talk about is personally, my opinion, all right? And it starts off with the workout. So as you guys saw, I start off with rear delts first. On leg days, I start off with calves first, something I've been doing thanks to my boy Gary who put me on that. And I think it's extremely important other than the fact 
that we're warming up the shoulder, getting blood flow into the shoulder before going into those big compound lifts. Because I personally think that when we train our calves or we train our rear delts, they're usually neglected because they're usually pushed towards the end. Last thing we do is face pulls for rear delts or we do calf raises at the end, but the intention usually is not as intense as if it would be towards the beginning. So especially for someone like me that lacks rear delts, lacks calves, putting them in front, you can really push the intensity and make the most out of it and obviously see some gains. Totally my opinion, just wanna let you guys know that. So I'm gonna down this chicken and rice and then we're gonna go have some fun, so stay tuned. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is currently 9.36 and I am extremely tired and we are now getting into meal number four and then I still have to eat and show you meal number five. So we got some digging to do. So we got some pasta, we got some feta cheese, we got some tomato and basil sauce, quick and easy, already tracked and scanned on my fitness pal. I usually like my dad's tomato sauce, but now that I have to track everything, this is gonna have to do. So something real quick, if it wasn't obvious enough that I wanted to just talk about is that I follow something called If It Fits Your Macros. Now you're not gonna see me go to McDonald's and grab french fries and a McDouble and plug it in because it fits my macros. No, I'm still eating good quality whole foods. Now for me, If It Fits Your Macros is more sustainable, especially if I'm sticking to a diet long term. Now as the calories are still high, you will see me eat pasta and things that are higher in calories, higher in carbs. But as we get deeper into that cut and deeper into prep, you will start to see how my food will start to change. And like I said, I enjoy it, it's like a game. And I'm pretty good at it, especially getting a lot of volume of food. So let me get into meal number four, and then I'll show you guys meal number five. We got some work to do, let's go. Ladies and gents, on to meal number five. We are moving forward. So ideally, I wanted to make this special meal for you guys. I was actually really excited, but being that it's past 10 o'clock, I was just kind of like, how can I make this quick? Cause I gotta get to bed. So I want it to look like this. Bruh. Bacon wrapped chicken, I was gonna make it look nice, put it in the oven, but I'm like, we ain't got time for all that right now. So, so we got some chicken, we made some bacon on the air fryer. We got some potatoes. Ideally, I would like some peppers, but I usually make them in the oven. So we have that meal for number five. We have some soda water. Now, usually I have LaCroix, but my girlfriend uh, introduced me to these this past week, and these are amazing. So we got one of those, and then some sugar-free ketchup for the potatoes. I'm gonna dive into this, calories and macros there. I feel like I'm getting shredded already. I mean, I can like see the abs. Now those are more like rolls. Catch me in like five months, though, we finna be shredded. So let me get into this meal number five. Cause we're not done yet. Wow, I feel like I'm bulking. I'm like getting flashbacks of when I would sit here and just, I'm actually really hungry, so it's not that bad, but yeah, we still got one more thing for everyone watching. Oh, that's good, that's good. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, time to wrap up this video. We are finishing off the night with a 100 calorie chocolate peanut butter chip ice cream. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my girlfriend put me on these a few weeks ago and they are pretty damn good and they're 100 calories and it's ice cream. You can't beat that. So we're gonna wrap this up here and I just wanna say that if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you, I really do. Um, you guys have no idea how much these videos mean to me getting them out there and you guys watching them. It means more than you guys can imagine. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and we're going to wrap it up there. So you guys know what to do. Show some love, like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace, baby.